Welcome and the management again for the data uh, visualization. And we'll move forward now for something we call it the polygon. How can I graph the polygon? This time I will use the midpoints for each, the midpoints for each denomination or each growth scare, score uh, grade. And I will not use the frequency, I will use the cumulative or the aggregate. Let me remind you with the difference between the frequency and the cumulative. The frequency is how many times this occur. As example, students who got grades in between 29.5 and 40.5 year are only two students. When we come to see, when we come to check here, we have here one student got 30 and one student got 31. Those are the only two students has grades between 29 and a half and 40 and a half. The midpoints we set, so two students. The cumulative will be two as well. The first two, I will retype it, retype it here back. Then I will go for the frequency of the other denomination, the same things here in this column. So students who have 40 and a half till 51.5 or till uh, 51.5, only one student has this grade. Between 51.5 and 62.5, I have six students had this grade. Between 62.5 and 73.5, I have seven students, and so on. And we said, when I sum, add them up together, the frequency, I will get the last number in the cumulative, which means that I'm right. Two and one, three and six, nine, and nine and seven, 16, plus four, 20, plus 10, that is 30. 30? at the last number in the cumulative. And 30 is the number of the scores here. So I see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times 3, that is 30 scores. So 30 scores. And when I get the frequency here, the sum of this frequency is 30. That's right. How I do the cumulative, I do it from the frequency. So we said here, two students had marks in between 29.5 and 40.5, two students. I will put the two here. One student has marks in between 40.5 and 51.5, only one student. I will put the one here. I have six students. If I could see here, I will find that there is six students had in between 51.5 and 62.5. I have six students and so on for the rest. Now what I will do, I will put the first two, I will repeat it here. The first two, I will repeat it here. Then I will say two plus one, that will give me three. Three plus six will give me nine. Nine plus seven will give me 16. 16 plus, please watch my hands. Again, two, I will type the two here. Two plus one will give me three. Three plus six will give me nine. Nine plus seven will give me 16. 16 plus four will give me 20 or 20. 20 plus 10 will give me 30. That is how it, I, how can I calculate the cumulative uh, or the aggregate column? Now this and this polygon here right now on the polygon, on this we call it the polygon. For the polygon now, what I will do, I will do the scores, the scores here as usual, and the scores midpoint, this is the scores midpoint, okay? The scores midpoint. I will tell you what the scores mid midpoint. And here is the cumulative frequency. So I will represent actually, what I will represent, I will represent the midpoints and the cumulative. So 35, I will go to two. 35, I go to, okay, and the cumulative. Then here on 46, I will go three. Let us go here. On 46, I will go three, between zero and five, three, which more than two. Then for 57, the midpoint, I will go nine. So here for 57, I will go nine in before the 10, here it is. Then for 68, I will go 16, here it is. This is 68, I will go up till 16. I'm representing the score and the accumulative uh, or the cumulative frequency. The score and the cumulative frequency. Then here, 79 till 20, I will go here, 79, and I will go up till 20. And finally, 
from the, the midpoint 90, I will reach to 30. So the midpoint 90, I, there are 30 students cumulative because we have 30 students already. So here the 90, I will go till the 30th. So take care of the assignment. Am I asking for the, the, the cumulative or I'm asking for the frequencies or the cumulative frequencies? One thing more is the midpoints. How did I calculate the midpoint? I'm showing sure the previous video, but I will show it to you again. The midpoint is the center of this uh, uh, denomination. So the midpoint is the midpoint between 29.5 and 40.5. How I will calculate it, that's what I will show you. Why it is 35, why it is 35, I will show you. So if I say like this, 29.5 plus 40.5, 40.5, that will equal 70 divided by two, that will give me 35. Here is the 35. The rest for all the other donations, like the second one, let me do the second one as well. So 40 and a half, 40 and a half, for those who did not see the previous video, plus, this is 40 and a half, plus, let's go to the plus, 51.5, that will equal 92, divided by two, that will give me 46. Here is the 46. 46, here is the 46. And so on for the rest. So what I did here in this polygon just now, what I did in this polygon, that I represent the midpoints, the midpoint of the category, of each category of scores, and the accumulated frequency. The midpoint, this one, this one, and this one. I work on both of them. On the midpoint, and the cumulative. The midpoint 35, I will go to. Here it is. 35, I will go to. And the second one, 46, I will go three. Here it is. 46, I will go three. And so on for the rest. That was for using the uh, polygon. And we call this figure the polygon. Once you did this point, once you determine this point here on the graph or in the scale, just uh, connect them with the ruler with your ruler, connect them with a pencil, with the ruler. The reason to do the pencil is better than using any pen or whatever, because always when you do graphs, we do it with the uh, ruler and the pencil. Now we will move forwards for how we can graph the pie chart. And the pie chart is very easy, but I'll just enlarge it so that you guys can see it properly. Let us enlarge it here. So it can be shown up to you guys uh, clear. I think now it's okay. I wish now it's okay. Now let's say now the smartphones, and this is number of units sold. And actually I just want to do this in a graph to represent this in a pie chart, in pie chart. How to present it? You know from high school that the total uh, degrees here is 360 for the whole for the whole circle for this whole circle or the pi. So here now we are up multiplying the uh, fractions with 360 since the total angle of a circle is 360. So the total angle of a circle is 360. So we'll take each portion to the, to the total. Now, this is the Apple, this is one plus, this is my, this is Samsung, this others I have here. I sold 100 units of Apple uh, cell phone. I sold 100 Apple cell phone. I, and I sold 80 one plus cell phone or smartphone. And I sold 200 MI smartphone. And I sold Samsung, 100 Samsung, and I sold others 20. Now, this is 380, 408, and no, 2,500. Uh, just to show you that, first of all, I will calculate the sum. The first step is to calculate the sum. Sum of numbers of units sold. I have to, to uh, calculate the number of units sold. So how I will calculate the numbers of units sold? Here it is. 100, let me do it in front of you with the calculator here is again. 
please. So here I will do C. This is 100 from the apple. Here 100 from the apple plus 80 from the one plus 80 from the one plus plus 200 from the MI. 200 from the MI plus 100 from the Samsung. 100 from the Samsung plus 20 others. So all this will come to 500. The second part, the second part is I will divide each one of those divided by the 500. Then I will here, like as example, 100 divided by 500, that will give me one, one divided by five. Then I will multiply by 360. Then I will multiply by 360. That will give me 72 degrees, 72 degrees. Uh, so let us go like this now and I'll show you how to do it. But here we did it in two steps. Actually, this is more simplifying and this is better, better. It's more better than just doing it in one step. So 100 divided by the sum. The sum is 500 like when you said. So here as example, I will say like this here. Let me do it here. Let me guys just look for a new page, file new. And here is page. And I would say now, take the green, the thick. So I have the first one is what, guys? 100. Let's see how far we have. We have 100 divided by 500 because all of them will say the sum is 500. So here I would say 100 divided by 500, 100 divided by 500. Time, this is time, 360, because we see the angels of the circle or the angel of the circle is 306. That will give you how much, guys? 72. Here is the 72 degrees. So 100 was 72. 80 was 57.6. So now we'll go to the 80. The 80, how I will calculate the 80? 80 divided by 500, again, 80 divided by... 500, that will equal, then time, 360, 360. That will give me 57.6. Here it is, 57.6 degrees, 57.6 degrees. Let's go to the third one. 200, the same thing, 200. I will divide it by 500. That will equal... Then I will multiply by 360, which is the sum of the degrees of the circle, the sum of the total angles of the uh, angle of the uh, circle. So multiply by 360. That will give me, uh, sorry, 144. 144. Same thing I will do for the fourth. 100 divided by 500. I'm repeating so that it will be clear for you guys. Then here, multiply by 360, which is the total uh, angles of the circle, 360. That will equal 72. Here is 72. And the last one is here, 20, by the sum, which is 500. The sum of this column is 500. Let me remind you, the sum of this column is 500. Will equal, then... Multiply by 360, that will give me 14.4. Here is a 14.4, 14.4 is here. Now the thing is that I will graph it. I have to graph it. I have to graph it if I have a scale, I will do it with the scale. Like I have a starting point, then I will go like this. And from each point, like example here, if I put the scale here and I see 72 for the same, same thing as example, I will start with the apple. Let us go for the apple. Let's go for the apple. The apple is here. I will start and I have 72 degrees. Also, I can do this using spreadsheet. I can do this using spreadsheet. Let us go for spreadsheet and do it on a spreadsheet. Back and forth in between here and there, 172. Then here, uh, 100. And the score is 72. And the 100 is the apple. 100 the apple and here let's say this is apple i will call it apple 
it is go for uh, one plus is 57.6. One plus is 57.6. 57.6. Then the third is uh, MI 144. MI and it's 144. And then we have uh, Samsung 72. Samsung and Samsung is 72. And we have also uh, the last one is uh, others. 